Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at the best add-on for VFX artists. Fun fact, 3D applications like Blender, 3ds Max, Houdini, Maya and Cinema 4D are used more for visual effects than making cartoons or animations. Disney releases about 3 to 4 animated movies a year but releases more than 10 movies and TV series that take advantage of visual effects in the same year. Visual effects entails a lot of things from rotoscoping, camera tracking, matte painting, set extension and adding a lot of effects. We are going to look at add-ons that will help you give your movie or animation a high budget look. we have After Effects to Blender Tracking Transfer. When it comes to motion tracking, Blender comes with an inbuilt motion and object tracker, but you have to add the tracking points manually. You need at least 8 tracking points to have a good track and they should not be obstructed during the tracking process. So you have to manually scrub through your footage as you track to make sure that the tracking points stay connected. In contrast, with After Effects, all you have to do is hit track footage and the program will add hundreds of tracking points automatically and ensure the footage is tracked well. This Blender add-on can transfer the tracking results from After Effects into Blender which saves you all the stress of manually tracking the footage. Number 2. Ian Hubbard's Steam Pack This add-on was a collaboration between Ian Hubbard and Chip Walters, the creator of Kit Ops. Both are big names in the Blender community. It's a collection of animated and looped Steam textures. They have no background and can easily be dropped into your scene to give it more life. And if you really want to take advantage of this collection, you can use it with the free Kit Ops add-on, which will make it easier to import and work in Blender. The materials have been set up to work with your scene lights so that they can blend seamlessly with your scene. Number 3. Ragdoll Tools Unfortunately, it's not allowed to throw people around like ragdolls and sadly, insurance companies would not even allow you to film them being hit by fast-moving objects like cars for your movies. So we have to set up for digital versions like what this ragdoll add-on provides. You can set it up to work with any character and time when the ragdoll physics can start. So you can animate the character as you want and when you want them to fall or collide in a physics accurate way, you just turn on the ragdoll physics. Number 4. Particle Library A simple way to improve the render and production value of your shot is by adding small things like particles, flocks of birds, garbage blowing away and more. This add-on is not just a library of such items but it also gives you an easy way to direct and animate the particles in a physically accurate way. The library is a collection with items like birds, fish, sparks, paper bags and more. It also comes with over 57 animation presets. Number 5, we have Weather FX add-on. VFX is not always about explosions and adding monsters. Sometimes it's the simple things like changing the weather. So if you want a rainy day, a snow day or to make it look windy, this Weather FX add-on has the presets and tools to make your scene have the weather your director needs. Number 6, RBD Lab. No true VFX artists can do their job without a proper tool for destroying objects. And for Blender VFX artists, that tool is RBD Lab. It's a great add-on for disintegrating objects, caving in roads, creating realistic sinkholes, and more. This add-on can also be used for scattering objects, so it will be very useful for scattering debris after you make explosions and destructions. It also comes with constraint support, so you can destroy parts of an object and let the other part stay intact, or break it if a force over a threshold is applied. Number 7. Animax Procedural Animation System If the sort of VFX you are doing is more non-realistic and more like, like Cinema 4D MoGraph style, then Animax Procedural Animation System is going to be your tool. It's less physics and more sterilized motion. It comes with more than 30 animation presets and 13 fracturing presets and if you want more, you can make, save and load your own custom presets. What I like most about it is its transition effects. Number 8, we have text stamps deco add-on. If you have a live action footage, spice it up with a new look using text stamps. 
This add-on has over 50 texture stamps that can be added to objects in your scene. The add-on does not do motion tracking, so you have to track it first using Blender motion tracking tools or track it easily with After Effects and import the track data back to Blender using the first add-on we saw in the list. And now you can add water domain decals, warning signs, cracks, and more with just a few clicks. Number nine, Delta Fluid Materials. If you are making a rainy effect, this Delta Flow add-on is what you need to sell it. You can use its materials to make dry objects look really wet. You can also use it to make flow maps for rivers and water streams. Number 10, we have VDB Lab. It's hard to do VFX without explosions, fire, and smoke. Blender is capable of doing all this, but you have to do a lot of experimentation to make good looking explosions. This is what the artists at VDB Lab have done. They have put in a lot of research and development into making smoke simulations in Blender and they have compiled their results into an amazing add-on called VDB Lab. This is truly an add-on for VFX artists out there. All you have to do is to go through the simulation presets, choose the ones you like, customize it to your liking using the parameters of the add-ons and you're ready to render. Number 11, we have the City Builder add-on. When you are done motion tracking your footage, you're probably looking for what to add to your scene to make it unique or create a different set from what you shot. This City Builder add-on comes with over a hundred buildings to choose from. Maybe you want a nuclear power plant in your backyard or a castle or modern buildings. This City Builder has it all. And finally, we have real time Flame gen Generator. While the flames generated by this add-on look a bit stylized, they also look real enough to work for most shots. You can change the direction of fire and a lot of other parameters. The generator is based off gem two nodes and runs in real time. You can create some amazing slow motion fire shots with it. I thank you for watching. That was some VFX add-ons that you could use to make amazing visual effects shots. See you in the next video.